As someone obsessed with trying to understand the nature of reality, one data point that has always struck me as perhaps, perhaps important is the question of the existence of life beyond Earth, intelligent alien life. It's a great question. And, uh, uh, and there is no scientist who is not disappointed <laughs> that we did not find life on Mars. Maybe we'll find some yet, but we have a very low form living below the surface. Um, maybe we'll find it somewhere else in our solar system. But the, uh, the great excitement right now is that we're beginning to find more and more planets on distant suns. It looks like they're very common. And it would be astonishing if the conditions weren't right somewhere for life to form somewhere else. But will it be life like ours? We've never seen life to which we're not related. Uh, every, every life form on Earth, we can measure our relationship to now that they've broken the code of DNA. So th that's been the latest transformation. We can, uh, uh, we can measure our relationship. Yeast uh, uh, shares half its genes with us. And uh, 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 I mean, that's astonishing. So, so what would it mean if we discovered life on another planet or someplace else in, in, in we, the galaxy? We, we first would want to know if nature has solved the problem some other way. Mm. Would, would this be life based on DNA? Maybe so. Uh, maybe that's the only way to do it. Uh, we don't know. And, and that's the first question we need to ask. Is there some other way to do it? The next question is, are there, are there creatures out there that think like we think. I don't mean that they have the same thoughts, but, but they have a, a mind that is aware of themselves. If that were true, what would it do to traditional religion on Earth? It wipes it out. <laughs> I mean, uh, 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 how could, our religion on Earth is all based on Earth. Uh, uh, God was creating life here. He wanted, Never a mention of creating it anywhere else. All religions are purely earth-based. And uh, you can, I suppose, now invent a religion. That, uh, <laughs> uh, and, and religions get invented all the time. Scientology, all these things. People are always inventing religions. But the, uh, the great religions on earth uh, are all earth-based. It was all about us. This, the, the whole purpose of creating the universe was for us. Right. Uh, I mean, that's sort of self-centered. I mean, it's a big universe. It's a really big universe. <laughs> to imagine that this was all done for us is, uh, is preposterous. <laughs> but that's the, the core belief of traditional that's religion. That's the core belief, and it's wrong. I mean, it just has to be wrong. Bob, let's flip it around. Let's say we're a billion years in the future, and with all of our telescopes and probes, and we still haven't found any life, and we're pretty human species beginning to think they're, that we're unique. Does that reinforce traditional religion? Uh, I suppose, in a sense, that would. <laughs> uh, it, it, it just kind of stretches but, uh, things a bit. But yeah, I, I guess in a sense it would. Uh, perhaps we are unique. Uh, that would make religion that much more plausible. Well, you'd, you'd have a second thought then. Uh, but we've got to wait a billion years to find we've out. We've got to wait a billion years to find <laughs> out. And, uh, well, and not that long. Uh, we're going to be finding out. We could find out. Yeah, we Pretty could quick. find out positive evidence quick, but we can't find out negative evidence for... Negative because... evidence, that's... That, <laughs> that, that, that we just have to keep looking. Yeah, yeah. That, that's uh, right. But, you know, I noticed something that's interesting. If you talk to some deep religious thinkers today they may be a little bit nervous about finding life because some of them are beginning to incorporate life outside of Earth into their expanding theologies. So it, 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 you know, it, it, one could approach it a little cynically in saying they're, they're, they're building in the rationalization just in case. 
Well, oh, I think they are. Uh, yeah, if I was in their shoes, I would. Uh, because it, you, there, there is the possibility that it's out there. I and mean, and it, it could happen soon. And it could, could happen any time. I mean, here we are. It, it's really kind of astonishing. We're on this perfectly average sun. Uh, we're, we're, our solar system is perfectly ordinary. Uh, out two-thirds of the way out on a perfectly ordinary <laughs> galaxy among billions of galaxies. And, and within this galaxy, there are billions of stars and billions of galaxies. My, I, 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 I'm beginning to sound like billions and billions. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but out of all that, uh, that it should be all for the purpose of this tiny little planet just seems preposterous. Uh, 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 I I couldn't accept such a belief. I mean that that's that I'm not that self-centered. Um, so I uh, uh, this is this is not taking us anywhere. What we have to look we have to look and uh, and I think there's more, more exciting. That's the greatest question left out there. Are we alone? And when I say alone. I don't mean the only ones with advanced technology. I don't, that, that, that's important. We got to where we are by a perfectly logical bunch of steps, but it could have followed some other course. Uh, it was sort of an accident that we wound up with people on the earth. And, uh, and that might not happen somewhere else. It certainly isn't going to be people. It's going to be, but there might be smart creatures. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, but is there life? Is life centered on this planet? I don't think so. But that's the last great question that human beings can ask. That's the last great question.